don't think anyone here plays somewhat the same characters. Okay, we have Mo for three as Pyramithra, and uh, Skies as Min Min. Oops, I forgot to set this thing. Alright. Alright, it'll be interesting to see how this one goes. Green Hills on the ship. Okay. Out of the gate, Myth. Out of the gate, Moper 3, already very oppressive with Mithra. Wait, don't mind me. This is, this is the part where I'm quiet because I'm trying to fix all audio at once. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we have some decent hits from Skies. Getting a, dr getting a combo going. Moving Mithra back to the other side of the stage. Moper 3 has switched to Pyra. Getting some attempts at up air juggling. A decent attempt at a retreat. Skies. Ah. He whiffed Prominence Revolt. <laughs> it's very. Oh. Okay. A forward smash from Mother 3. Mother 3 going off stage. Risky move with Mithra, but he makes it back and. And Skies does not. That is the first stock. So my audio is fine. Skies attempts to grab, but it's going the wrong direction. Strong combo from Mofa 3. It'll be the forward smash from Skies to take the next stock. Rack to 2 and 2 with a slight lead from Mofa 3. Here. Cool. I think all audio is fixed. Play, Skies is going to have to be playing very cautiously against Mithra, who has a, a very strong oppression factor over Min Min. As goes for the grab twice. Neither one manages to connect, unfortunately. Another missed grab and a down air to KO. We are now down to two stocks and one, with Mofa 3 having a sizable lead of over one stock. Strong arm combos from Min Min. Down throw into an attempted forward air combo, but the it, for one reason or another, it doesn't hit. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dragon laser. What's that? It should be. A megawatt for some reason. I'm gonna go for Ooh. a bait. Nah, that didn't work. If they're now at KO percent. Not gonna lie, this reverse main is actually guys making me confused. <laughs> guys appears to be fishing for a megawatt attack. Oh, the grab, a back throw now, or an up throw potentially, but that did not work. A back throw would have secured that stock. And a forward air far off stage to KO for the last stock. Bow for three takes round one. I was so confused that game because I forgot this was reverse mains. I thought I was yeah, going to mow this whole time. <laughs> I try to refer to them. I try to refer to the, the fighters by their character rather than the player name, just so it's, it's impossible to mix up. I, if I can get the player, I will. But sometimes I just default to the character because <laughs> reverse mains are very confusing. You're right about that. Cool. I think I fixed my audio. We have no, a just switch have from Mo for three. Hey yo. Either Mo for three is cha either Mo for three is changing his colors or he's going to Donkey Kong to make things more fair. Or it could be a stage switch. Are stage switches here? Mm. Stage switches possibly. Uh, uh, I guess we. I guess we never made it. I guess we never really made that clear, did we? <laughs> yeah, I have no clue about anything happening here. All I know is that they use get on my level rule set. So I'm assuming. Okay. If you're using get on my level rule set, uh, yeah. So I'm assuming nice there's stage picks, yeah. It would be nice if we could see, if I could see the start GG to see what they were banning and whatnot, but I cannot. Alright. What stage did they settle on? 
Pokemon Stadium, I think. It, it was a lot of green. It looks like it is Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay. Myth Rogue with the first hit. Another up smash. Attempts, attempting to juggle. Doesn't quite make it smart. A forward throw from Skies to get the powered up Dragon Arm. Ooh. Another fine example of Mithra's oppressive neutral. That was a weird air Mithra, dodge. Mithra easily closing in the distance. The Pyra switch. Over three Ooh. switches to Pyra. Uh, no, why'd you go for up B? You could have gone for up smash. Fun. Even up to would have been fine. Sky's doing her best to that keep her nice. distance under the, the, was a clean under double the jump. very aggressive play of this character. A forward smash from Mithra to take the first stock. Mithra is at KO percent and there and Mo for three stock could be taken at any moment, but for now he is in the lead. Is Mithra light, or is she just like average weight? Mithra is a middleweight, yes. Oh, an up smash to KO, we're at a 2 2 with 0% on each fighter, resetting the game. Wow. Look at that. Down tilt into Little easy up combo smash. string. I love that. Guys, simple confirm, simple but effective. Ooh, a strong play from Skies. The whiff, the whiff punishing grab from Min Min, one of the e only ways you can get a grab with Min Min. A down smash that shockingly does KO. Skies is now in the lead with All the way stops. from the other side of the stage, too. <laughs> yes, I, I don't think anyone expected that. I don't think either of the, the fighters expected that either. Guys, attempting to keep her distance. What the hell kind of flashes that? Oh, for three switches to Pyra for a, for a down air that knock that, sh that launches Skies way up into the sky. <laughs> Another grab and back throw from Skies to get the power dragon arm. A neutral air off stage that, that might do it. Oy. It does do it. Skies has taken game two. <laughs> Cannot recover back. <laughs> the Skies min min. characters have one very solid thing in common. They are great at edge guarding and also very prone to being edge guarded. Both of them have very strong advantage states and very weak disadvantage states. So both of these but these games can really go either way. We have an, another switch from from Mo for 3. Uh, is We'll see this. We'll see, we will see their new stage selection here. They've gone to oh, Yoshi's, Yoshi's story, you. a stage that is banned in most places, but for whatever reason, it is is, is legal on Get On My Level, which is the rule set that is being used for this tournament. Excellent to whips. Does, oh my god. <laughs> it would the big reason that this is banned in those places is because the floor is sloped by the ledges. This is a, this is a feature of stages that tends to get any stage banned. But in in the case of these two characters, it doesn't it doesn't seem like it would affect much. So the stage was likely selected for the unique blast zone placement. Which is weird because the only character I can see winning for this is just Aegis. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think Min Min has any reason to kill like upwards, apart from up smash. Yes, Min Min's up smash Maybe is up a there? very powerful out of shield option and can easily take stocks. Is up throw good? I actually don't remember. Attempt, not An up throw from Min Min at this percent would KO. 
Huh, I don't know that. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Never mind. They made it back. And Myth and Mo for three does not. An SD for the first stock, unfortunate. He has switched to Pyra and is now going for the heavy hits to get Minmin out and even the game. Ah. We're going for grabs. Skies is fishing for the grabs, but because of how slow the grab is, it's not going to be easily accomplished. Really fishing for those grabs. Like, Skies I don't know if Minmin even gets anything up. much out of it. Guys will need to switch up her game plan if she wants to if she wants to win this round. Minmin does get a lot out of grabs as as following a throw, Minmin gets her charge to dragon arm, which is very strong. Oh yeah. But regardless of the opponent's percent, Minmin will want to try and land a grab as often as possible to get that power up. Ah. I couldn't tell which area oh, it was. Box. A lot of pyras looked the same, but it connected and KO'd. Think that was. We are now two and two, but, but Skies is in no. a, a, a major lead as Mo for three is approaching KO percent. Up smash, and now Mo for three is at KO percent. Several attacks at this point could end the stock. Oh, trying to camp at the top. Min Do not want to interact. Platform, a very uncommon choice for Min Min, as Min Min struggles severely at the top platform. What? Okay, game. There you go, there's the upswing. KO. We're at one and we're at one and two. Sky is having a major leap now. Oh my uh, god, so many whiffs. We're at one and one, and that Lee is gone in an instant. Skies, you can't be fishing. There's so much lag within all of these moves. As, Here, hold as on. useful as Mimmin's grab is, the end lag on it is very, very punishable. As most tether grabs are. That thing hits from behind. That's crazy. It's not that strong, obviously, but like still. Just a nice effect. Oh, okay. Just take the damage. That's not good. Never mind. It's not that bad. I forgot this minion we talked about. Oh, for three appears to be struggling <laughs> against. Now that Skies has warmed up on Min Min, Mofer three appears to be struggling a little bit to land hits with ease, just despite the very large hitbox on Pyra's aerials. Just a slow movement, and it's just hard to get in because how fast yeah, we have down. a hit. I would, we have a hit by down air. That's gonna not going be a grab, I guess. Oh, why is that? A rather risky move at this point in, in her stock. That backer actually leads upwards. How? Ooh, right. An aerial Could jump in. KO. Skies takes game three, and Skies moves on. Does she move on? This is, it's this is semis. Three, yes. Oh, it's semifinals. This is semifinals already. Yes. I don't oh, think okay. there's that many people here. I bad. I thought this was way earlier in, into the tourney. Okay. Well, I guess you don't move on. Yes, guys, you have to win one more game. I was beginning to wonder what sort of stage would be banned in this instance if they're- Wait, we're already out of bands. <laughs> uh. The I guess there's nothing left, but if the yeah. end some other stage, I don't know. Final destination wouldn't be a good choice because it leaves- because the lack of platforms restricts a lot of approach options to get closer to Min Min. But because we've already gone through game three, you have two bands already. So that's not even happening. But it, this is Mo, this is Mo for three's pick, and I don't think Mo for three is going to select Final Destination. Yeah. Oh, 
the logical choice at this point would probably be Battlefield. But we'll see what they pick. Oh my god. They, they are going to Final <laughs> Destination. That is a shocker, considering that this was not Sky's turn. This is a stage in where, which Ooh, Min Min on. thrives. It's a nice combo. This is a stage in which Min Min thrives, and even despite Aegis' power, it does have a bit of struggle. But it does look like Mo for 3 does ha is creating a lead for Hold himself. On. Mo right is now. locking in, but imagine if there was a, if there was a platform to help that locking in more. Yes. Mo trying to flex hard, picking Final Destination and still somehow winning. The alt switch. It's always the alt switch, trust. I, that is true. I did not notice until now that Mo for three has switched his costume. Oh, that's not a good air dodge. It's gonna neck lock forward smash to KO. You do not see that very often. That takes the first stock of the round. Them. The forward air to KO. We're back to two and two. Could she have even lived that? It looked. It did not look killable. Maybe. This is map. This is match point for Skies, so Mother 3 will have to be careful. Oh no! Oh my god, this game. No! And Min has the has the dragon the power dragon arm it may go away soon, but for now she could attempt to use it with laser. It is gone. <laughs> but she needs a megawatt against Mithra. Forward smash again to KO. Or was that a tilt? I think it was a tilt. Either way, I is getting a lot of megawatt KOs, which is something you normally do not see from Min Min. Perhaps not playing the character regularly has given her a unique a unique interpretation of the of the Min Min playstyle, and it is working in her favor, it seems. An attempted to an attempted read of a forward smash on the ledge roll does not land. Oh. Mm. And smash connects. You've seen a lot of attacks facing the wrong way this set. <laughs> Me crazy, I think Skies is going to fish for a grab again. <laughs> Never mind, I, I think that was a one off. Oh, no, there's another attempt facing the wrong way. Min Min recovers low and M Megawatts tilts again. That all stocks this game are taking with the Megawatt. A very impressive feat for any Min Min to accomplish, especially someone that does not main a Min Min. Congratulations, Skies, you are advancing to the winner's finals. <laughs> What? I missed all of that! Oh my god, this game. Alright, I guess. Alright, what are we covering next? Uh... This guy gets to fight someone immediately? No. We're still figuring out who's... Playing the next one. Is, is is the other is the other semifinals match still underway? They started already. I guess we could jump jump in. I don't know. We could take a look at. Well, now that is there anyone open to play Mo in the in the loser semifinals? Has that been decided yet? Semi losers? Uh, I think they fight. Yeah. Because Mo's just got just got knocked into it. Is, is there anyone there waiting for him? Is the question. Oh, it's Neo. Okay. It's either Neo or Cool Kid. No. Okay, but it looks like they're making their own arena to do it in. So we will be waiting for for Sky's next opponent.
The strategy makes no sense. Okay, oh, okay, it is. To host. Okay, guys, um, if you could exit the arena, please, so we can have our next fighters join. Thank you. Okay, Mo for three and eyes. I'm fucking her. <laughs> right. All right. We may actually <laughs> get the exact. I just realized we are very likely getting the exact same matchup. <laughs> we are very likely getting another Aegis versus Min Min. What? Uh, Ice is a Min Min? I mean, Ice is a Aegis? Uh, his. His. His about me for a long time said Joker Aegis. It may be Joker Cloud now. Okay, interesting. Eyes has Joker. gone Lucas. This is this is an interesting development. Let's see how it plays plays out. They've gone to Pokemon Stadium too. Mo for three opening with a classic Joker drag down combo. What are they both doing? There's gotta be a button check. There's gotta be a button check. What is happening? Dang, they're not gonna get for it to confirm. Uh. Oh, an up special That's for not good. That is no not reason. good. Oops. A PK Thunder that has no chance of making it. An SD for the first stock. Vote for three now with a very large lead. Eyes is attempting to land a, a straight hit aerial. He makes it with a back air into a neutral air. Pushing for the grabs. Ice's best shot of winning this is very likely to throw off stage PK Freeze Cheese, but, but is that viable against someone that is a Lucas main? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, and was oh, it's Arsene now, given so that, it's given not looking good. Given that Ice DQ in his last round, it's it's entirely possible that he is intentionally throwing this. But I want to I I want to say that he is not doing that. It does look like he is making his best effort. Oh, very good air dodge. An unfortunate, an unfortunate miss of the up smash. Given how powerful Lucas' oh, up smash is, I was going to say that would have KO'd, and it was just proven that it would have because it did KO at the same percent. Eyes playing the, sh the, the hopping aerial game, hoping to land a hit that can combo into something, anything. Mo for three does have the advantage of knowing of knowing te the textbook Joker strategies that he can counter, but I'm not sure if I can say the same about Mo knowing what I is doing right now because this is not at all textbook Lucas. <laughs> he is playing Lucas in a very interesting way. While Lucas can easily go for straight hits, that's not normally the strategy. <laughs> what? Oh, the they hell? Both lose their stock. It's one and one, and this game just took a very interesting turn. Mo overcommitted trying to get that last kill. That's over an overextension to ensure the stock 
which probably was already gone to begin with, given how Lucas's recovery works, and that cost him his own life. Oh, yo, hold on. Hold on, there's the combos. Never mind the drop. Eyes may be onto something here. I think. Even without much knowledge of the character, he does seem to understand which aerials are the ones to use with Lucas. And it is working out surprisingly well. Both the three doesn't leave What? Much. That did not. Oh. What? That did a not kill air, either. The down air that the game thought would be off stage but wasn't. An up air that also probably should have KO'd but didn't. Very good DI. Got good DI. This is coming. certainly a game. It's certainly the game, and it's only round but one. I just want to be play, played game very one, I mean. carefully <laughs> keep, to keep safe from Joker. Oh, you could have punished that air dodge for an anti air. Oh, an up smash uh, to punish an up smash, and somehow both of them miss. Throw, not gonna kill just yet. It's a little too far. The long, the tether of the rope snake saves saves eyes from certain death. Oh. The back air stage spike into an no. up smash that is nowhere near Mo for three, unfortunately. And Mo for three forward smashes to get the KO. Mo, Mo for three takes game one. It was an interesting and surprisingly close game. That was game. a game. That actually was funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 4 3 typing in our Discord server that he is very tilted right now. This and that he's not is thinking. So fun. His brain is <laughs> off, he says. And to be fair, in this matchup, you don't need much brain power to begin with. Joker plays very well into Lucas. Because there's really not much Lucas can do. Was it just much bigger? Eyes has switched to Min Min. This to not much surprise. I would have liked to see him play Lucas again just because he did surprisingly well and could potentially win another one. But Min Min does seem to be the safer choice. I was immediately opening up by running back for an attack. It does connect, but it and he does seem to be securing neutral for now. This is Mickey Neo, we may as well call him Min Min Neo. This is going surprisingly well. Ooh, falling forward air. It's always a good start. This is, yes, a forward air to KO. This is, a ma this is an interesting matchup. This is an interesting matchup. It is more even than some people may believe. But there is the very, very, the case that sticks out like a sore thumb is Min Min's disadvantage against Joker. Joker has a very strong edge guarding game that Min Min can do very little to counterplay. Where on the flip side, Min Min's advantage state, we have our sign up special, which will ignore a vast majority of edge guarding attempts. I don't mind to check audio again, so I just thought of something. The back throw from Ice to get the powered dragon arm. Uh, a forward smash facing the wrong way, punished by a forward smash of Mo's own, and the gun off stage gimps Min Min. We're down to one and two. Oh, never mind. I'm just imagining things in my head. Ooh! Another megawatt! It seems the Mega we're, we're was going to right see, there. It seems we're going to see a lot of Megawatt in this tournament.
And still make it back. All right. Down air. I is making a very risky play. It doesn't pay off, but he does survive. Oh, I was into the grab. Oh, the major, never mind. Arsene, maybe. Oh, the. Arsene is out, and this game may as well yeah, already be over. Yeah, not good. Yeah, there's yes, the four there. Yeah, the end there. That is game two. Uh. Both for three already at match point. Eyes will need to play perfectly from here on out. Yeah, this is quarters. There's some. Stage decision is not is now up to eyes. He has gone back to Lucas. It see with that does not quite surprise me. He did seem to get better results with Lucas than Minmin, shockingly enough. And the stage they have decided on It looks like they've gone to Smashville. Wait, no, that's town and city. One of them. <laughs> it's town and city. A side note, it annoys me that two of the legal stages are Animal Crossing. I get that the layout is good, but the theming is just annoying. There's like two Animal Crossing stages. There's like... There is. There's two of them, and both there's of them are legal. Two and there's two Pokemons. Like like, yeah, oh my like... god. Also, that was a crazy up B. Ooh, you know what? Sacrificial okay. KO. Okay, but I just won the argument in that one. Doesn't matter. Yes. You take those. It's not about winning, it's about sending a message. <laughs> that being said, it's not looking good for him right now. Oh my god. Random grabs. Oops, they both miss. As jumps away to avoid the rest of that devastating combo. The Tetracarn to launch Lucas to the other side of the stage. Ooh, they slept. Almost, almost launches Lucas into the blast zone. Oh, Dang. he can't quite make the recovery. Yeah, that was a very weird neutral bean. I didn't get really punished for it. 60%. Combo that seems Ooh. to last years. <laughs> now over. Eyes understands now that he needs to keep his distance. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't. But does he really need to is the question, if he plays well enough. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, never mind. That could have been something cool. No. I was fishing for the grabs. But gets grabbed himself. Oh, if only there was like a good way to just cancel that immediately. So if you miss it's so over, you're gonna be stuck in lag. Mm, the up air, the up air and the hit. screen KO that ends it. Alright. And the taunt three, at the end too. Move for yeah. three, moving on. Move for three, moving on to the losers finals. Okay, who is next? Gonna go back to winners finals with Mo with uh with Skies and Monk. Skies and Monk. I do not know anything about Monk. I 
I predicted that Monk would make it very far from the get-go because he is a Ganondorf player. <laughs> Ganon. Which means that all his opponents have to play Ganondorf. Which means that he will have an advantage on every single matchup. <laughs> so oh. I am not at all surprised that Monk has made it this far. Monk has done low tiered everyone up. Oh no. Nah. Yeah. So yes. Monk being a Ganondorf player, I knew immediately when I saw him enter that he was going to make it at least this far. Will he make it to the grand finals? I don't know. But this the this duration this this or how how the run has gone so far does not surprise me. As, as great of a, a player as Skies is, I do project that Monk has a very good chance of winning this, purely on the account that all of Skies' choices for characters are bottom tiers. <laughs> and Monk's, Monk, among his choices, is a top tier. <laughs> the difference between those two tiers is night and day. Hold on. So... Okay, so... Oh, okay. We have... Donkey Kong versus King K. Rule. This is going to be a bit, a slightly more fair matchup and a lore accurate one at that. Lore accurate matchup. <laughs> Monk has just, I, I, Monk easily could have gone Aegis and ended this, and ended this, these winners finals very quickly. But it seems like he does want to have fun with it, and I respect that. <laughs> The double back here, an attempted spike, but it gets air dodged. I'm gonna go back low again. Recovering low works out and can works out in Sky's favor here. The down throw into the up smash, but it's sour spots and isn't quite enough to KO. The neutral air out of shield from Skies. Dash attack, it grabs the crown, throws it upward, it doesn't quite hit. A cargo throw up, throwing the crown back up. Lots of item play in this matchup. Wolf grab gonna get hit Monk by that. Grab and misses. Oh, actually, but armor's right through that F smash. Up smash, an up smash to KO. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm not surprised that Monk chose Donkey Kong because his name is Monk and his profile picture on his Switch is Donkey Kong. Also, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is, I think now Monk knows what he's doing so far from looking at yes, all this. Monk, Monk probably does play Donkey Kong on the side. It's not one of the mains that can be selected, but it is a character that I do believe he knows how to play. So, this has been a choice over Aegis. I don't know. It just would have been an easy cop out that would probably net him the win. But if he feels more comfortable with Donkey Donkey Kong and wants to take this risk, I respect it. He's going for the cargo throw. I think he this guy's can make it back. No, never mind the back throw. I mean the back air. Another back air. <laughs> One of these has to eventually. Skye can end still it. make it back. That's the best inevitable. part. I'm not gonna go for a third time. Shocking. Right. Shockingly, they so will do it. No. That'll yes. Do it. Okay. That'll no. do it. Okay. <laughs> Monk takes a bit too long on the cargo throw, and the crown saves Skies from, from the devastating effects. I think effects. Monk was trying to use the throw invincibility, but it just didn't time it right. An interesting strategy of attempting to use the, uh, use the propeller to, to send Donkey Kong up on stage. Back air on shield, another back air. Ooh, we have a cargo throw. No, we, we have, the ding dong doesn't quite connect. The ding dong, is that what it's called? The hidden tech? Yes. <laughs> oh shit. Ah. A, a very deep cargo throw from Monk to secure that win. Round one goes to Monk.
But you know how funny it would be if there was squads and it was a 4v4? Yeah. And everyone played Ice Climbers. <laughs> that is... And on Fountain of Dreams. There is... I have a lot of quirky tournament ideas for the future like that. One of them is similar to that, where the only characters allowed are the characters that are technically more than one character. Such as Ice Climbers, Rosalina and Luma, Banjo and Kazooie. Did there aren't Banjo that many, but there's enough. Banjo and Kazooie are two characters, technically. Oh, yeah. Um, that kind of... That'd be funny. The, they're not... There's no companion fighter and there's no puppeting going on, but it's still technically two characters. Duck Hunt would count as well. <laughs> Here we go in game two, moving to Kalos. Yeah, yeah we're on the Kalos Pokemon League. Solid counter pick. I don't think either of these characters benefit from the wall, but they may benefit from the very low blast zone, especially Donkey Kong. So why Skies would pick this, I am not entirely sure. Yeah, how close are the sides? Last time. They're very close, but the big the big gimmick with Kalos Pokemon League is that the blast zones are very low. Which which actually now that I think about it, it's actually more of an advantage for King K rule. Because a perfect example right there, Donkey Kong's recovery that caused him the SD is very horizontal. It doesn't give you much vertical coverage. So if if Skies can knock Donkey Kong down deep enough, he will not be able to recover. This is a very solid counter pick, the more that I think about it. With the back air against the wall, it's a KO. A good combo string, very this is the neutral B Unk though. Unk very consistently landing the double back air. Like yeah, this ca this dude plays his character. <laughs> yes. Without a doubt, he does play Donkey Kong. It is not a main, but he does play Donkey Kong. And that is giving him a decent advantage because I do not think Skies plays King K. Rule. It's probably the choice that was made because it's not Ganondorf. <laughs> oh, that doesn't quite KO though. Ground throw. That recovery does make it. But Skies now in a state where she has innate advantage even in neutral. Just gotta be Any careful with the armor point poke, though. Yeah. Ooh, especially okay. because King K. Rule does have forward guard. Any attack from the front will be super armored. Well, for a lot of attacks, not all of them. Oh, the cargo throw it's off screen. Barely once there. Again. The back air to KO. There's no way to make side recovery. I'm yeah. hanging on for dear life with a stock lead. <laughs> Down throw. I would have personally gone for any other throw that, that probably would have KO'd. <laughs> Forward tilt to KO, we're back to one and one. Yeah, back throw would have done much better. Yeah, so back throw but... likely would have KO'd. I don't know how strong it is, but at 200%, a back throw will KO nearly anybody at ledge, no matter what character you're playing. Donkey Kong perhaps not, because Donkey Kong is the third heaviest character in the game. But it is a risk that probably would have been better taken because the down throw was escaped somehow. Who's second? In K Rule. Oh it is? I thought it was the other way around. Nope, King K Rule is slightly heavier. Oh that was a Nice footstool. I didn't actually see it until yes, after it was done. Yes. I didn't see it either. Someone messaged me on Discord and I got distracted. But game three, I mean game two, my bad, goes to Skies. On the board, she says. On the board. Oh, that was so close though. I 
neither of them have gone out of the arena yet, they may be running this stage back. Dude, I just know if Hylia popped in the stream. You would be amazed by the fantastic music I'm playing right now. Actually, never mind. This is from the third game. This is Kingdom Hearts 3. Eh. Punk is now selecting a stage. Selection has already been made. Well, that was a very quick decision. The question is, what did he go for? They want to fight. We're going to battlefield. Battlefield is an interesting choice for both these fighters. Cool. Neither of them do very well with platforms. It is doable. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, put... this is one of those stages does... that exists yes. for them. But it does put them on an even ground regardless, because they both have similar strengths and weaknesses on this stage. Round pound into up smash. You have the cargo throw forward. Not quite enough. This oh, is back air. Can't, okay. quite miss, can't quite land the edge guard there. Oh, I think F smash would have been F smash would have been nice again. Guys, dash grabs nothing for some reason. <laughs> that is not good. That is not a good oh, spot to be. Down, oh no. Down air meteor smash. Punk at KO percent, but for now in the lead, and that lead is immediately lost as we're back to two to two with no damage for either fighter. Oof. Okay, we're in a tough spot. That was a nice take. Forward throw, Ash attack gets dodged. This doesn't Forward work, it's gotta be, Sac okay. Sacri sacrificing ledge grab in this ability, which does work. The back throw against the stage. K roll makes it high enough, but can he survive the onslaught of d dropping back airs? Yeah, do it. there's literally one. not much to make, it's so over. It's one more will do it. It's This is still very much winnable. But you, but guys, will have to work a bit harder than than she was before. Guys, fishing for the down airs. Down smash to KO. We're at the one and one. That was a very Ooh, good roll read. Forward smash that almost launches to the blast zone. Uh, Monk messes no. up the back air. Back air shark, a forward air spike. Ao. This guy just keeps trying to just let go of ledge. An, ex an excellently timed position. Position in there. Ex very well placed attack. Game three goes to Monk. Monk is now at match point. Alright, Skies. This is your stage pick. Make good use of it. If I had to make a prediction here, I would say that Skies is going to select Hollow Bastion. That is the stage that is hardest for Donkey Kong to ding dong on. <laughs> Because the upward blast zone is absurdly tall. Three, 
We have town and city. Interesting choice. Town and city does have a similar property to Hollow Bastion, though, in the sense that the upward blast zone is very high. Ooh, Ooh. the down smash shield break. Please don't miss this. Up. Smash. smash attack on heavyweights. That could be it for the stock. That's not, not, it's not it. quite enough. It's not quite enough. It should have been a forward smash. That could have done it. Donkey <laughs> Kong standing just a little bit too close to the ledge, and the propeller hits him. Shockwave down smash, for whatever reason. A forward air throws the crown. The crown doesn't hit. Up airs from Donkey Kong all around. A car throw going for forward, Damn. and it's enough. It's two and three. Donk sandwich is high, but he's currently in the lead. Down throw, and a forward smash to KO. Perfectly timed, too. Forward throw into dash attack. A combo you don't see very often because it only works on heavyweights at low percents. In this matchup, you do you do see it at times. Uh, the spike doesn't quite go off stage. There's the ding dong. Doesn't quite work because, as we established, town and city's blast zone is quite high. Down smash doesn't quite get there get get him there either. But the back air will do it. That's one and two. We are now on the tournament stock for skies. Wait, no, it's not the tournament stock because, stock because loser, loser's finals. Uh, we are on the match stock. What, 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 what do you even call this? The set stock, I guess? Yeah, set the, point. Yeah, set point. Yeah, the set stock. Down pound into the back air, into back air. Oh, and no tech. Can't get up in time. The platform carries her away. Game, game four goes to Monk. And Monk will move on to the Grand Finals. Guy still has a chance to get back there for the run back, but she will have to go through Mo for three again first. It's time for the double run back. Well, maybe a double run back. We're getting at least one. We might get two. Alright. Monk, if you could... Monk, if you could please exit the arena, and Mo for three, if we can have you back in. Uh, Mo for three has to fight whoever wins in quarters. Oh wait, he does. He does. Yes. I thought he was in loser. I thought he won. I thought he got to losers finals. <laughs> uh, no, that was winner semis. Oh, winner semis. Mm. You said it was. You said this was winners finals, and I, I, you're messing with my head. Okay. <laughs> no, we this got, the, the one we just watch. The one we just watch is winners finals. Yeah, so okay. we're so waiting on whoever's in loser's quarters, which at the moment is you, you Narikami Me? and Phoenix. Oh, 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 no, you Narikami. Okay, that makes more sense. There is more losers going on. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah, right now it's O2 win Phoenix's favor. Who's messaging me?
having interesting discussions in the server right now. <laughs> yeah, this is how I, I feel like every time I'm just waiting for a so She makes it back, which she probably will not. Monk asking, can you main Rob real quick? And, and Sky's asking, can you main DK real quick? DK ditto grands, trust. Uh, who is who is next then? Uh, it is Mo for three versus whoever wins quarter side, which is United Kami and Phoenix. Is this Leafy? I genuinely no. This is Swag. I think this is Swag. I have no fucking clue who this is. Oh, that's Leafy, bruh. Yeah, okay, so it's Leafy versus Leafy. Phoenix. Leafy's a huge Persona fan, too, so... I was gonna say it was Leafy, but I saw the sin and I didn't know. Or, you know what, while we're just waiting for them, I'm gonna... Uh, take a... Get a drink real quick. I'm back. Me too, that's a good idea. I'm back. I am also back. So, Wait, hold on. No, you're not back. You're back em. Real. I'm back em. Are they? Are they done? They're not done.
I just noticed. Uh, so. Monk sent the edges don't scare me message into our arena chat four times. <laughs> what? Monk sent the edges don't <laughs> scare just me just message don't scare into me. our into our arena <laughs> five, four times. That's great. I guess it don't, because Carol didn't, can't do yeah. much. Yes. Okay. How long before the arena closes due to inactivity? <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's what I'm concerned about right now. In a way, we can just like, do like a little match. Yeah, get in the match with me, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta keep it going. Commentate it all the time. Yes. We can't commentate our own match. Oh, you got Ganondorf. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I know I know who's winning this, I guess. How do you play this game? I haven't played this game. Oh, that's true, you don't even play. Oh my god. Oh, that's his up show. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's hyper slow for no good reason Hopefully by the time we're done, uh, the next match will be ready. <laughs> There's no way they take that. Yeah. No, that was barely there. Fire dodge? No, it was right there. What? Oh my god, why is that his up show? I don't know. It's it's so dumb. Right, the combo doesn't work on Ganondorf, he's too big. <laughs> Why is this his up to? I keep forgetting this. I'm so used to Captain Falcon. Or anyone. Uh, I, I miss the days when he was just, just slow Captain Falcon. That's right, especially. Oh, shield fuck. You had enough time for that is impressive. Uh, That's what I'm saying. I barely I was, I was asking if they're on stream. I don't know. Are you in the arena or not? <laughs> okay, Mo is here, so we're done. Yeah. This is just kind of the embarrassing thing about me is that I can't fight Ganondorf. <laughs> Dude, me neither. Like, it's a really weird thing about me. It shouldn't be as hard as it is. <laughs> A key part of my strategy is that this sounds weird, but I can pretty often intentionally whiff things. 
to, to trick people into coming close so I can do something. But Ganondorf, Ganondorf players usually are on top of that, because the way Ganondorf has to play in this game is by whiff punishing. It's the only thing he can do. So it, my play style One whiff just, and it's so over. <laughs> my play style just does not go well with Ganondorf. Oh I'm man, that was on... so weird. Yeah. It was weird playing that game. I'm, yeah, I'm still working on it, changing up my my playstyle specifically for Ganondorf. Because the big issue I have is that nobody really plays him. That's that's one of my advantages with Zelda. Not many people play Zelda, so a lot of people don't know the counterplay. It's a similar thing with Ganondorf. He's the worst character in the game, so not a lot of people really know the matchup. It's an easy matchup, but it's one you have to at least know how it works. To be fair, I do know kind of how it works, but <laughs> I'm still figuring out how to counter it. So ready, you just let them in. Sitting here. This is an interesting one, because Mo is, uh, his portrait's mute. Phoenix is, is Mega Mewtwo Y. <laughs> does that give, does that give Mega Mewtwo an advantage? We'll never know. Okay, we have... We have Wolf and Min Min. <laughs> Out of the gate, we can already see why this is a good matchup for Wolf. <laughs> But then again, a majority of matchups against Lucas aren't that great either. So Lucas kind of takes just a bit of time to learn, just to pick up. Yeah, a lot of Min Min, Min Min can be learned at a low level very quickly, but this isn't quite the low level. So we, the Min, the people that are playing Min Min against Mo are struggling a bit. Although I have noticed that because they don't play Min Min, they're using Megawatt a lot more. And for some reason, it's working. Normally, M Megawatt is an army you don't want to select very often. Yeah, most usually Ram Ram. Like, Ram Ram is always yes, the it's, Ram Ram is the common option. Double Dragon sometimes. Megawatt, very rarely. But what I'm... Very we're scary. Seeing a lot of, we're seeing a lot of Megawatt today. And... Some, and it's actually working impressively well. Oh, there's a back air to KO from Wolf. Uh, it's actually working surprisingly well. It could po it could be because because Mo knows the character so well, and that Megawatt's not the normal choice. He's not really expecting it. That's one of my theories. And he's learning how to play around a Min Min that doesn't play just like him. Both fighters right now at KO percent, although although uh, Mocha 3 does have the lead up by one stock. Percent's now very similar. That back air launched quite far, but don't KO. That blaster will gimp though, so we're at three and one. Ooh, and again, it's a megawatt to KO. We're going to s <laughs> we have seen a lot of that this tournament. Generally, if a seasoned Min Min player wants to use a Megawatt, it'll likely be with a neutral air. Seeing the tilt or the smash come out is decidedly uncommon, but not in this tournament, where very few people, 
where very few people play Min Min at the same level as Marvel 3 and Blair, we are not going to see it. <laughs> we, I mean, oh, we are going to see Blair it. Take a lot, much more. Grab, Mulf, up throw. Can't follow up with anything. Both attempting to get some drop downs. They're both trying to get something to land. Both in a bit of a drought until Mimin finally lands that tilt. A down smash from Wolf. Will that be far enough to KO? It looks like it will be, and it is. That's game one to Moker 3. Why is everyone picking Chance Min Min again? <laughs> okay. Both of the Min Min players in the server have stated very often that they do not like that costume. I think a lot of people are selecting it out of spite. It is Phoenix's turn to select the stage. The ideal choice would probably be Final Destination. But we'll see. Certainly thinking about this, he's been in that menu for quite some time. It's going Lucas, that is why. Uh, okay. No way. I don't expect to see as much Lucas against Mo for 3 this tournament as I have. And what stage are we ending up on? We are in all final destination, but not with the character I expected. So this matchup, this this stage does not have the same benefits for Lucas as it does for Min Min. But it does seem, it does work out somewhat in his favor. Because the lack of platforms allows Lucas to grab much easier. And Lucas's grab is a core part of his moveset in getting KOs. Especially if you don't normally play Lucas. If you do normally play Lucas, there are quite a few options, but if you don't, throwing off stage into BK Freeze is probably your best option. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Down, like, but it doesn't get up. It, a follow up on that could have been deadly. An up smash sends off screen, but not to the blast zone. Carry on the first hit of jab, but the rest hit anyway. Dude, Mo is Ooh, moving down with this wolf. Oh, this is the this is the grab. Phoenix Phoenix Mani Wolf gives anyone that plays him an advantage because Wolf is a spacey and spaceys are innately a fun use character. You don't need you don't need to study the character much to pick them up. Just shows everyone's true colors in this game. Yes. Yeah, some players just have an advantage purely on the characters they play, because some are much harder to learn than others. Wolf is definitely one of the easier ones, and Lucas is not so much. Once again, this seems to be a game of stray hits. So... PK fire rather than PK freeze. Interesting choice. But terribly with up smash. Lucas safely makes it back onto the stage. Forward tilt from Wolf. Can't quite miss that punish. A back throw should KO here. It does. We're at one and two. Up smash, smash but very doesn't good quite, DI doesn't quite make it. Any other, any smash attack from here on out will end the stock for Lucas. That's fine. Lucas, abs Lucas absorbs that blaster for a tiny bit more health back. It probably won't matter, but you can take you take everything you can get. Phoenix very careful That's to play the spacing game. So healing is practically not existent in this game. That is not good. Oh Ooh. no! A very interesting gimp game from 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 Phoenix here, and Phoenix takes game two. I can't.
cannot see what they're banning right now, but if I had to guess, Final Destination is getting banned after this one. <laughs> partly because of the performance that we just saw from Lucas, and partly because one of Lucas's options is Min Min. Oh wait, that's right. The ban doesn't go to him. <laughs> Phoenix is the one that gets to ban something. <laughs> Have our stage. We are going now into game three. And we are on Yoshi's, Yoshi's story. You again. Right. This is an this is an interesting pick for Mo for three, because the sloped ground at the ledges may interfere with some projectiles. That being said, it will interfere with Lucas's as well, and Wolf only has one, while Lucas has quite a few. So this may be a net positive for Wolf. Oh, DP. A powerful F smash to KL. That's a very quick stock for this match. Phoenix takes a sizable lead with Lucas, which is rather impressive against Moper 3. Honestly, I think the primary reason that worked is because it's not something that would be expected. Most Lucas players would not go for that up smash, but we have a KO from Wolf, and we're more or less fast. reset. Never mind. Wolf is now at about 50%. Takes one good combo. Yeah. was a good air to air. Yes. Trying to be very defensive again. You know. Back up stage. Blasters. More blasters. Can PK Thunder make it? Frame. It cannot. Oops. Wall. Wait, I have perms. Air from Lucas, sending Wolf straight up. Wolf back airs. Are we getting a back throw KO here? We are. We're at one and one. Turn to forward air, into up tilt, into up air, another up air, another up air. An excellent juggle to get up, get up to speed quickly and even out the fight. Oh my god, I did have mod. Forward smash. He attempts to bring that PK Thunder back to to KO with the spiral. It doesn't quite get there in time. A perfect shield on that forward smash. Down smash. Ooh. Out of shield, neutral air. Up air from Wolf. That could be it. It is. All right. Game three. By a hair goes to Mo for three. This is a revelation right now. Yes. We are I just into found. Game four. I just discovered I've always had Twitch mod this entire time. <laughs> uh, okay.
Alright. Okay, next, selecting the, our stage for game four. Is he going to run back or is he going to counter pick? I'm going insane. I wish I knew this <laughs> a long while ago. Once again, Phoenix taking quite some time in the menu. He may be switching back to Min Min. No, he is on Lucas. But Dark Pit! Mo he has gone to Dark Pit. Hold on. What is this? Alright, we are on Final Destination again. Where it seems that last time it, it, Phoenix's Lucas did its best. That being said, this is also a great stage for pit the pits, who can soar above the stage to get out of danger. Electroshock on. A forward tilt. Goes with a spike, doesn't quite make it. Oh, cool. Uh, fit up there, it goes farther than. We are, we are seeing the, the power of Lucas's. We are seeing the power of Lucas's neutral air out of shield today. That's not good. Ooh. That's not that bad. Okay. No. Go for three escapes. So that was flying a little too close to that up smash. There's an actual up smash that connects. Doesn't quite send Lucas away though. A forward throw. Down smash. Now we get another back throw. Will that KO? It will. So we, a forward smash. We're back to 2 2, 0 and 0. Still anyone's game. A nice forward air drag down, no follow up. Ooh, up air juggling from Phoenix. Electroshock whiffs, but because Lucas is too far away, he cannot capitalize on the end lag. Ooh, forward smash the kick. That. I feel like I should Ever not kill the. The power of a big stick should never be undersold. We're at one and two. Electroshock misses. Oh my god, they dropped the combos. Yes, Mike. Up tilt, up air. Down air into an up smash, but Lucas is nowhere to be seen. Or tilt to get off screen. Mm. PK okay. Thunder doesn't quite get there. PK Why is Mo doing is smash off. attacks? Down air. That little aerial jump mix. Up smash That's what I love KO. to see. We're at one and one. But Phoenix is in the lead and could take this to game five. Ooh, the PK Thunder does connect. But because this is Dark Pit, it doesn't matter much. Oh, a second, two down smashes in a row. To t perfectly timed to take game four. We are going to game five, folks. Dude, game five in here is crazy. This is the first game five, actually, in this entire tournament. I believe it. I believe it. I'm not looking at the bracket, but I believe it. <laughs> Dang, this thing is good. Cool. 
All right, we have the Lucas the Wolf run back, but what stage? We are going back to Yoshi's back to Yoshi's. Story. Oh my god. I mean, isn't that bad? Also, Ayo? Just realized. It's the Maximilian theme. No way. We have already had this exact match on this stage, and last time we did it, Mo43 did win. He's likely hoping that this run back will still work out in his favor. Over the king up there. That didn't kill. Didn't that was surprising. KO. He's getting there. He's getting good confirmed by Mo. Yes. Jumps in and jumps into that. Smash. And jabbed off stage. Back throw. Guard die. Oh. Up smash. The end oh, line is gonna very punish. punishable. We get the forward smash to KO. Just goes for the grab because Wolf has not yet gotten up. Nothing happens. Yeah, Moe's just trying to casually try to get in as much as they can. Ah, uh. oh, one whiff. All it takes. Oh, one PK whiff is three. literally all it takes. Yeah. Oh my god. Right back at two and two. Number for three is still in the lead, but this is very easily subject to change. Just trying to whip that. Stabbing Forward a little smash too fast. As Lucas fly. Don't get the roll. Get the butt dodge. Yeah. Blaster misses. Interrupting the forward smash. From neutral air. Okay. Up smash to completely bypass the neutral air out of shield. Over three back and. Over three still in the lead, now at a much larger lead than before. Yeah, Mo just one stock away this game. One stock away from advancing. A lot of we're seeing a bit of a drought here. It ends just right there. Uh, got some pummeling from Wolf into a down throw. Tried to go for something off stage. Second guessed himself at the last minute. Down air, up air, but it doesn't quite get there. An up smash. There we go. There's up another smash. up smash. Game What's five goes to Mo for three. Mo for three advances to the losers finals. They a connection connected. Error has occurred. Oh, nah. All right. Well, um, the so losers finals are next, then, yeah. Oh my god, Ice has his shit card finally. Yes, he does. Okay. 
Oh, we are waiting on Skies. Eyes, do you have... How do I say this? Like, you know where it says sources on OBS and you make a video capture file? Should have the one that's plugged in. Alright, we have both fighters in the arena. Losers finals will commence shortly. We have Donkey Kong into Min Min. According to Skies, this is a terrible matchup for Min Min, so this should be interesting. We are on Final Destination, however, which is where Min Min does her best. Have the forward throw to get the dragon powered up, the powered dragon arm. Guys, doing her best to keep her distance. Nice falling arms play. But charging the ram ram smash does pay off. Another throw to get that, that powered arm back. The armor. The super super armor of Donkey Kong's up special helps out a lot. He's back there. Guys makes it out past Donkey Kong's edge guarding. Oof. This could be it for the stock. Very good air dodge to get back. past the neutral air. Dash attack. Oh, on the other side. Either stock could be taken at any moment here. Both characters at their respective KO percents. And it will go to Skies first. It will go to Skies for air. hitting the armored move? Does that just Following not work against smash Megawatt? The KO. Megawatt's too strong. Punished or not? What was that roll about? That is one of the uses of Megawatt you will you will see commonly on any Min Min player breaking through super armor. <laughs> a majority of it, of super armors cannot withstand a Megawatt. Whether or not Skies knew knew this, I'm not sure because she hasn't played Min Min, but it is a, a useful thing to know about for anyone playing the character. Spot dodging the grab. Donkey Kong edge carding very strong. But 
being said, Mofa 3 does... Mofa 3 is at a relatively high damage, and this stock could go. Misses the Ding Dong. Back throw okay. off stage. Can't quite get the chase in there. Set. Somewhat at least. Some. Guy's going for whatever pitch he can, and she finally finds it with a, with a megawatt smash in the air. One stock and one. Oh, for three does have a lead, but it could go away soon. And the lead is gone. <laughs> it is anyone's game now. Oh, okay. Ooh. Back air. Back throw. Gabby, punishing grab. No snipe. Where's your oh, jump? But she can't, Please. She can't. We're committing she can't quite on that make it back. Card. Over overextending on the edge guard. Can't quite make it back. What an unfortunate end to game one. Oh my god. It's okay, Skies. You won in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And to Final Destination, very likely getting banned here, which will cause, which will make a big loss in advantage for Skies in this set. into game two. Where, where have we been taken? We've been taken to Kalos Pokemon League. Guys, opening up with the dragon arm at laser. Doing a good job of maintaining distance so far. There it is. This is only I was promised. So far, no damage has been taken. A very good trade. This guy's had that charge for so long, it's so much damage. A charged Ram Ram can be very powerful. The Ding Dong is connects. <laughs> A well placed aerial tilt to interrupt that attempted spike. The big drawback of having such Ooh, powerful meteor smashes good. is that they're very long. To live. What was that? Oh. Up but but Mo for three overextends himself. Second attempt surely can. Never mind. Eyes makes it back without a problem. Oh, right. for time right, that for has time, to be That's still nope. not it. Eyes <laughs> is still is is still in this. Guys, very eager to make up for, the, for her unfortunate ending in the first round. Performing very well so far. Almost having a full stock lead. That being said, this is Donkey Kong we're talking about. And any hit that she takes could be her last for the stock. Oh, the shield poking back air, or did she go out of the shield first? I couldn't tell. It went by too fast, but the stock is gone. Oh, that was weird. The Kung like Fu jab. combo. Like a watt till. It's not quite enough because Donkey Kong is rather heavy. It's the wrong way. Okay. Well, it saves. No jump. Oh, another megawatt KO. <laughs> Two and one. It's looking like this game could go to skies, but you never know in Super Smash Bros. Oh, the drop, drop shield a little too early. Don't get up. Okay. Guys, thankfully, is handling her disadvantage very well. Oh, uh, air dodge a little too early. All right. Back to one and one. 
Oh, she almost had a full stock lead. And then it, it all got taken away so quickly. This is why I said, you never know what's going to happen in Super Smash Brothers. Back throw gets the powered up dragon arm. Good aerial trade. Oh, attempts to laser for the stock, doesn't quite make it. Goes away, and that's read by a forward smash. A down air that sends sideways. Ooh, and another mega hut. It but it doesn't quite KO. The finish zoom has lied to us once again. Is this back throw enough? It is the back not. throw did not kill. He's quite the heavy man. Guys now fishing for whatever mega hot hit she can. Oh, that up smash was barely there. Oh, that up smash was barely there. Not getting, not quite getting close enough for those up smashes to connect. Right. Just a good block. Did you jump? Ooh. Okay, that's a go. That's a go. Yep. Throw to KO with a star. Perfectly timed, a perfectly timed get up. Any other timing, and that would have been the end of it. But Skies, by a hair, managed to take game two. So let's go. Bridget's team playing in the back. So. We, we could potentially see a run back here of Min Min Aegis. Given the, the amount of time that Mokri is spending in the menu, that possibility is looking stronger. Whether this being both a character and stage switch going at the same uh, going on in the same menu visit, or he is thinking very hard about the next stage. Oh, that's the way. <laughs> in the lounge. <laughs> Okay. Still on Donkey Kong after all. Now, what stage is it that Mocha 3 spent so long looking for? We are back on Final Destination. A very interesting choice to pick for fighting Min Min. This is not the first time you've seen that this tournament either. Mocha 3 must have a lot of confidence in this particular game. We have a Ding Dong opening. Double back air. Eyes is able to recover from that and is able to keep herself safe as she gets back. But the up special KOs anyway. Then the two and three, with Mopra three in a large lead. This guy is going for some mind games with the megawatt. That doesn't stay in the shield quite long enough. Ooh, the super armor on Giant Punch invalidates the Megawatt completely. And then cannot recover from that. We are now to 1 and 3. Very clever counterplay from Skies to avoid whatever follow-up could have been happening to that in that headbutt. And a meteor smash to end it with a three stock. I was sexy somewhere. That game is over? What? Yeah. You weren't paying attention? It was a three stock. I was uh texting. Alright. Well, game what? three went to Mo for three.
Okay. It seems it, if if the server chat is to be believed, guys is at a bit of a disadvantage due to outside circumstances of her Amazing. parents nagging at her. That may have something to do with the lackluster performance of game three. Which means everybody, if Sky if Sky loses the, this this set, you can blame her mother. <laughs> It will be completely acceptable. All right. And it looks like we are going to Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> Dunk. One for three attempting to take a very early stock. Doesn't quite get there. This was that was almost an incredible reversal. Guys could have taken that stock right then and there if she knew the min min strategies. I mean, so we I mean, got a lot from just that one advantage. Up smash while well, something's Donkey happening here, and there he goes. To <laughs> to the Donkey Kong's still at a very high percent. This stock may, may not last much longer. A down throw to get the power, interesting. And it'll be a laser to KO. Game is now reset to even. Two stocks for each fighter. Back throw. The power ar powered arm is now in play. Another grab, the down throw this time. Then being caught with up special. Up smash out of shield, punish a dash attack. Ooh. Double arm play. Down air into up air from Donkey Kong. Down smash, a good choice, but there was a platform above and Skies is safe. Up smash out of shield once again. One more good hit will end Donkey Kong's stock. That being said, one more good hit could also end Min Min's stock. There it is, one more up smash out of shield will do it. Up to two and one. Skies at KO percent, but for now in the lead. A good grab. Or throw to get the power dragon. A perfect shield into up smash to avoid the jab. The dragon laser sends Donkey Kong further off. Up smash to punish the landing lag. Uh, the wrong smash attack was selected for that one. Skies is starting to learn. Up smash out of shield is the tra is the strategy. No, now you're not be able to punish. All right, good mega watt though. Smash to KO. Skies can still take this. Right. Game four going to Skies. We are once again at a game five. any character is ever switchy, the Game 5 stage pick can be a bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> you may not know if you've picked a good stage for the final round until it's too late. Right, final game. Game 5, we are on Battlefield. 
this is a very good choice for Mo for three because it's a very good choice for Mo for three as Min Min struggles on stages with multiple layers of platforms, especially Battlefield, which may very well be one of Min Min's worst stages. That being said, Skies is still has the lead <laughs> at the moment. I'm gonna be honest. My hot take. I think a lot of zoners just don't do good in this stage. They don't. But, but Min Min especially. A back throw from Skies. Skies securing the advantage very well. Bam Ram. I don't think. Donkey Kong can't yeah, he can't make it back. back. And we are down to first stock of game five. Ooh, a charge okay. forward smash. <laughs> Counter argument. Never mind, the game has re is effectively reset. Guy's still in the lead, but not by much. Very good space. Double arms. Ooh, it's gonna get punished with the Mega White. Falling neutral air. Ah, uh, the grab faced the wrong way, but so is the forward smash as Skies rolls behind. Another Mega Watt KO. Down to one and two. Skies has a very large lead. The ding dong connects. The up smash does not, as Skies is far overhead. Ooh, perfectly timed grab to, to, to bypass the spot dodge from Donkey Kong. Uh, the neutral air to KO. Guys still in the lead, but both are on their last stock. Potentially the last stock of the tournament for both of them. Ooh, that and reach did not kill just yet. Does, does this is not a good place. Okay. And the up smash, one more good hit should do it. Oh, it's still living. And there, there goes the up air. The up air. Good job. Congratulations, guys. You will get your run back in the grands. We are calling Monk back in, and hopefully this run back goes well for Skies. I'm eating a sandwich. <laughs>
Unk was apparently eating a sandwich, and we've had to interrupt him. <laughs> this is not the first time this has happened to someone in the server. Eyes once was in bracket against someone that checked in while in the drive-thru for Wendy's to get a sandwich. <laughs> so this is just a repeat of history, folks. All right, Monk is on site. One of the grand finals. We have Monk's Donkey Kong versus Skies' King K. Rule. Alright, it's time. I'm sorry, I have to down commentate down this. Guard comes and works in Sky's favor. Right, so I'm back. The back air. A raw back air, interesting. I forgot how huge the get up attack is. Very nice trade. Despite having the character advantage, Skies does take the first stock with a down throw into forward smash. We've got, Ooh, a, we've got a successful okay. Ding Dong, and then the up special to KO. The Ding Dong may have KO'd on any other stage, but Town and City was a very good pick. Be. So far, it Very looks like Skies is, manage is managing herself and under and knowing exactly what to do after the last set in this run back. There's the down smash to KO. That being said, she will have to work harder to, to win than Monk, being in the loser's position. I didn't go after Crown though, now <laughs> you're getting Crown comboed. Yes. Guys is the projected winner being at first seed, although she didn't get here the way that she was expected to in the bracket. Meanwhile, we have Monk in the in the winner's spot at 14th seed, which quite frankly does not surprise me given his character selection that the opponents are forced to choose from. That was 
a very weird setup that worked actually Personally, if i were seeding this tournament i would have put monk at number two <laughs> purely because of the characters he plays this monk number nine number two? Oh wait a second okay he's, he's 14. Seed 14. <laughs> who seeded this mo mo yes i think i don't think mo took the character selection into account when seeding very good spike well, by Monk. Spike take the first game. It was looking great. Game one was looking great for Skies, but Donkey Kong off stage can turn tide very quickly. And again, Skies will have to work harder in this run back in the original set if she wants to succeed, because she will have to win not just. <laughs> she will not have to win just three games. She will have to win six due to the resets. Monk, on the other hand, only needs to win th win, win one of the two. <laughs> Getting two chances to secure first place in the tournament. going to call us Pokemon League once again. This seems to be Monk's preferred counter pick to basically everyone. This may very, this may, I'm not sure, but this may be Donkey Kong's best stage. Just given how everyone that has played Donkey Kong in this tournament seems to choose it on game two every time. That being said, it also looks like a great stage for King K. Rool, who can recover very high vertically in such a deep blast zone. Quite the overextension from Monk there that will, that will cause us an SD for the first stock of the match. Uh, we have an up air to KO regardless, and we are back to even. Neutral air out of shield. Down smash doesn't connect. Giant punch! Thankfully, King K. Rule is a super heavyweight and was at a, a medium percent, and it has no shot of KOing. Before that, I smash. I mean, get a punch or smash. Monk looking to take an early stock here and secure game two. Trying to go low. Didn't see the mix. Trying to go for low again. Oh, that was a big slow way. Oh, there's game two. We are at match it's game point two. for Monk. It is not looking good for Skies. I will have to stop the stream, but then be back just in time. I don't know how fast are we going to get into doubles immediately. Game three. We'll be soon going into game three. This could be the final match of the tournament. All right, hold on. Aubrey has something in plan. Yes. Aubrey is, quote unquote, going to try something. She did joke earlier about going Ganondorf. She may actually be doing it. It looks like she is, in fact, on Ganondorf. This oh will be a, my this will lordy. Either, either fail spectacularly or lead to a reverse 3-0. This is already not good. Already is already not looking very good for, for Skies at all. Oh no, take. <laughs> that, that is no, the, no, 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 no. That no. is one of the quickest losses I've seen. That's the wrong way. 
Oh guy yeah. Is going to go out. She may he as, only has this one job. Like... Yeah. This guy is going to go out. She wait, may as well do it on her own terms, and <laughs> that seems to be what's happening here. That was interesting. Trying to use the hit stun to just cancel that. Let's hit stun. Oh, that's not good. Another spike, you can still make it back. That okay. Is recoverable. It is recoverable. Oh, that's not good. Okay, never mind. Tech? No tech. Oh, never mind. That, that's not gonna work. Call me crazy, but oh, Ooh. a shield break on the up smash. Doria. That was not Doria. It was not. Enough. Oops. You know what? I'm gonna pretend it was, it, is. it was a warlock punch. Guys playing a dangerous game, playing so close to the ledge against Donkey Kong. Now it's reset. Ooh, this cargo grab. throw could be it. No, because you actually could be it. somewhat that's, have to that's think. It. That is that's game. it. You have to we somewhat have, have to think grand about finals. Edge Guard and Ganon. I wouldn't say that this is an upset because Monk deserved the two seed. But because he was seed out at 14, this is a major upset. <laughs> and the 14 seed wins the reverse mains tournament. Thank you all for coming out. We will see you soon in the doubles category. I will have to be on and off comms for that one because I am participating, but whenever I can, and when I'm out of it, because I inevitably probably will be, I will be back here. Oh, I have to make my arena bigger, wouldn't I? Yes, you'll have to make it six now. Eh, okay. That might cause some problems, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I've never done a doubles thing, so I'm just seeing to see how that goes. Right. That was verse mains. Thank you all the guys for watching. Uh I will stop the stream, but I'll come back and restream again. But yeah. You guys have fun and stuff. Which one is it? It's one of these. There you go.